Autism is estimated to affect one out of every 88 children born in the U.S. And now a new study says that having a fever or the flu for a week during pregnancy could at least double the chances of a child being born with autism. ABC's Dr. Richard Besser is here with us to break down this new research for us. And Dr. Besser, this is a frightening headline for so many parents or would-be parents. Right. Put it into perspective for us. So, so here's what they found. If, if, if a mother reported having flu during pregnancy, her risk of having a child with autism increased from 1% to 2%. If she reported having fever for seven days, the risk went from 1% to 3%. So while it's doubling or tripling, it's still very small. But there are a number of questions about this study itself. It's what's called an exploratory study. So it's designed to look for other things to study in more detail. They enrolled over 100,000 moms in this study from Denmark. They asked them over 100 questions, but they never tested them for right. flu. So in future studies, they're going to look to see, does this really hold up. So in the meantime, what can a woman do if she is pregnant or planning to become pregnant? Should yeah. she get the flu shot? Well, we know that pregnant women are in the risk group who are going to have the most severe flu. So they should get the shot, mm -hmm. not the nasal spray, because that can be dangerous. It will protect them and it will protect their own baby for six months. A good thing to do. Right. And parents shouldn't blame themselves if they have a child with autism. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Even those women who had the flu, their risk of having a child with autism was less than 2%. All right, Dr. Richard Besser, thanks so much.